Hello viewers, welcome to Amazing Foundation Ministries International Parents Corner. This afternoon, uh, my question to you is, where is your strength? Where is your strength? And we're going to look into the book of um, Psalms, Psalm chapter 89. Um, I'm actually, it's 15 to 18, but I'm actually going to be talking mainly on um, verse 17. Psalm 89 verse 17 um, and actually 17a it says for you are the glory of their strength you know i just found myself um a few days ago in my vision or let's say in my dream and, and um, i just i was just hearing this verse over and over again until i woke up i even found myself preaching this verse so it's interesting that i'm preaching about it over and over again for you are the glory of their strength that's all i kept hearing for you are the glory of their strength. And when I woke up, you know, I became puzzled and tried to understand more about the glory of their strength, the glory of their strength. So I did some research to find out, number one, what does glory mean then? And what does strength mean? You know, there are times when we think we know things, but when it comes on from another, you, you hear that word from another perspective, you begin to wonder what does it actually mean then so i did some research um using dictionary and glory could actually mean embellishment glory means actually a lot a lot it means praise it means beauty and what is strength strength is about toughness strength is about force there are loads of um, um, synonyms on strength that I, that I saw on the, in the dictionary. But I'm only going to stay with those two words or three. The strength, force, toughness, and based on glory, I'm going to, go, I'm going to stay on beauty, embellishment, and praise. Okay, so we understand that now. Well, then we go to the next one. It says, for you are the glory of their strength. And I began to wonder in my, in, in, within my spirit that, so that means our strength or, or the way we have strength, the grade of our strength is different. You know, in this life, or possibly as Christians, it's like the grades of our strength are different. Some, some people have got strength. Some people have got strength. What makes the one person's strength different from the other is the grade, is the embellishment of that strength. So, what makes your strength different from others? And when we say strength, strength does not only mean your, your, um, your muzzle, you know. Even the dictionary says strength as muzzle. But it doesn't only mean your muzzle. If you have more finance than others you know in a clean way that's strength <coughs> you know if someone is looking for a child and another person has got child that is strength if someone's got one and another person's got three that is still strength if you're looking for a job what you're earning is not up to what you're expecting and another person got more than you that is strength if you've been praying, you're asking God for five things, you receive two, that is strength. The other person asking for three more, that is strength once they receive it. So, strength. If you're sick in your body and you pray, you're asking God for solution, for, for strength to be ill, to be healed. That is strength in its own. Excuse me. That is strength. So, what makes your strength different from others? <coughs> you can imagine some people, they're looking for a job, you know. They find a job and the pay is not really good. Depends on how you find it. And then you can imagine some people that what the job that they're doing, if they ask them, do you really, did you really find, think or dream you were going to find yourself in, the, in this position? And they say no. And it's godly. Something makes that strength different. From the others so again 
for you are the glory of their strength. Who is that person? Who is that power? Who is that authority that is the glory of their strength? And who are there? Obviously, it's God. God is the glory of our strength. That there is our, is us, is you, is me, is my children, your children, your husband, wife, your parents, you know? That is the strength, you know? The glory of their strength. The glory of their strength. Who is the glory of your strength? It's God. So your strength, my strength, should lie in God. It's not about how, it's not about your, what you can do. You know, it's not about your ability. It's not about what you've learned. Sometimes we think, oh yeah, um, I know a lot more. I've been to the university. I studied master's, PhD, etc. If you rely on that as your strength, you must be joking. And it's so unfortunate that um, nowadays the way we believe as parents that we might have given our children strength for the future is just to send them to school, to study um, in the uni um, uni at the university, or to you know to study something really different from others. And you believe that's the strength. Yes, it's part of strength, but that is physical strength. But the spiritual strength, this is what this verse is talking about. For you are the glory of their strength. It's not that physical strength. It's not that muscle. It's talking about our spiritual strength. Our spiritual strength. So when we say our spiritual strength, what is that spiritual strength? The strength to pray. Yeah. Strength to pray. Strength to read the Bible. Strength to be able to stand against any form of attack. Obviously through the scriptures. Faith in itself is strength. Because if you do not have faith, you got no strength. And that can lead to depression and frustration. And faith in what? Faith in Christ or faith in your hand? In the work of your hand or faith in friends? If you have faith in people... I'm sorry, you're going to be put to shame, unfortunately. If you have faith in your strength, you're joking because even the Bible says it. You know, if you have faith in what your ability, you failed, unfortunately. The faith you need is in Christ. And when you have faith in Christ, then you will have strength. And how would you exercise faith in Christ? The Bible says that faith, actually, I'm going to read exactly what faith means. Um. Uh, directly from the scriptures okay um, i'm going to read through i'm going to read the book of romans chapter 10 verse 17 romans chapter 10 verse 17 it says so then faith cometh by hearing and by hearing the word of god that is faith again the book of hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says hebrew 11 verse 1 and i'm going to read now, faith is the substance, substance of the things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance of the things hoped for, the evidence of the things unseen. Now, if you hope for something, but you have not seen it, but you keep proclaiming it, you keep confessing it, that becomes your strength. It becomes your strength. Strength. Strength that will arise as we wait upon God. It's not just um, the muscle. It's not just believing in what you can do. It's not just believing in your ability. Your strength lies so much in what God can do for you. Your strength lies in putting all your own understanding apart. Putting all your wisdom apart. All you went to study in the school. Putting them to one side. You know, yes, it doesn't mean that you cannot apply them because I always say to people, education is part of God's plan. Education is part of God's plan. But it doesn't mean that when you finish, you should now depend totally on it and say, well, it says because it says that one add one has to be two. So if I do it this way, then it's got to be that way. How about if God says, well, You've got to study that, but I really want you to come to me so that I can teach you the best way out for it using the skills that you have learned. You know, I really want you to 
talk about you you're looking for one particular business and the lord is saying no i really want you to go to that business and you're thinking well i went to study that in the university so i think i'm gonna do well really but what does god say that's where your strength lies you know you see I, i'm sure many of us can testify to this many of us have done businesses and you wasted so much money and you're 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 you're, you're still carrying on you know some people still carry on you know after spending so much they still carry on they're still doing uh, risk assessments you know trying to find out which business pays you haven't got strength in that in that aspect unfortunately yes is a is a is a kind of learning curve simply because you're someone who doesn't give up that's where it, that's that's where it, it all comes down to that you're someone who doesn't easily give up so if one fails you always move on which is very good it's a very very good skill it's a very very good attribute in your life you'll find it difficult to give up if one fails you step up you step up you never give up yes very good however some other people are looking for shortcuts i'm not saying that the shortcut is good but i'm going to now talk about that spiritually you know there could be a shortcut into that journey instead of wasting so much money especially for business people now, i don't know why it's linking up to business people today you know instead of going that way this way that way that way yes you're taking risk but how about asking god because that's going to be the glory of your strength you don't want people to be mocking you and say look it's trying that it's trying that it's trying that it's trying that you know and it keeps feeling and then you be a talk of the town what makes your strength different you know some people they can't they, they have money so they can it doesn't matter if it fails they they just keep trying 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 it doesn't matter if it doesn't make the money they want they keep trying everywhere and then but sometimes especially if you have little or if you haven't got enough to be able to play around with why don't you show off your strength in christ and let the world know that the god, that god is the glory of your strength by asking him to bless the little that you have and multiply it you know like the 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 bread the story of um how god fed uh, multi multiples of uh, people excluding the children and their wife and the wives and the mom mothers in the bible they, the boy had little a small fish you know and bread you know and that was it but the lord blessed it and it multiplied some of us we are waiting for for us to have big money oh wow for me to be able to do that business i really need, really need big money yeah but how about if god is saying that's not where i want to start because he owns our lives anyway. The way he wants to do things is not the way you want to do it. You know, and the Bible says that his ways no man no man can fathom. No man can fathom. So if you're trying to look do it in your own way, then you're not ready for God yet. And that means you're going to continue to use your physical strength. But the Bible says that for by strength shall no man prevail. So by your strength, you can't really prevail. You can't really overcome by your own strength. You have to rely totally on God. You have to rely totally on god and how do we receive this strength from god we receive strength from god by waiting on him on his knowledge his wisdom his own way his direction you confess his strength over and over again meditating on his word ask for his own direction of doing that thing you know that program or that healing that you're looking for his own way the way he wants to heal you don't rely on doctors. Don't rely on what people say. You know, there are many, many things like that. What you see, um, the time is not up yet for me, but I know that one day God is, the time will be up for me to talk so much about healing. You know, how many of us were looking for, oh yeah, they said this medication works, they said that medication works, they said this medication works and that works. You know, when you sit down with God, I'm just going to give you, give us a bit of hints today. When you sit down with God and you ask him, this, this, this leg is hurting me. What do we do, Lord? What do you, what do you, how do you want to heal me? How do you want us to go about this? You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. He's the creator of heaven and earth. He owns everything. He knows the best way out for us. You know, you, those who want to lose weight as well. God is still on the throne. God is still on the throne. 
don't rely on your strengths oh yeah they said it this one works that works this works that works the owner of your life knows what what, what works best is equally the same thing with, with 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 um with using the scriptures as well there are so many bible verses here that we can use especially in a particular situation yes use them i'm not saying don't use them but why don't you ask god as well and say father what else do you want me to say what is what is it exactly what is it exactly do you want me to do now what do you want what what do you want me to declare this is something that i've tried and tested several times and it's worked you know you know the bible says that um uh uh he, he uttered his word and he let us and delivers us from all our diseases just one word when I say word, it doesn't mean just tiny word. It means the word of God. Just one verse can turn things around for you. Can turn things around. Even in our prayers as well. You know, many times we have a long list. A very long list that we want to pray to God about a particular matter. But the Lord knows best. If you stay in his presence and say, Father, how do you want me to pray this prayer? He will tell you. I've done it before several times. So I know that this is, this is not an experiment. This is an experience. So anything that makes us weak, obviously it's not going to give us strength. It's not only about our health. But there's an embellishment. It is God. It is the glory of your strength. Make him the glory of your strength. Make him what makes the difference between your strength and other strength. If you wake up in the morning and you're someone that feels tired every time you wake up, tell him, for you are the glory of my strength. You know, I tell you what happened just after I heard that Bible verse. I just noticed that I woke up and I was so tired. And I was thinking, no, what's going on? Until afternoon time, then I began to mention, to say it over and over again to myself, for the Lord is the glory of my strength. God is the glory of my strength. He is the glory of my strength. He is the glory of my strength. Then I got the uh, body of Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ. I started using it. And after used it, using it, I decided to continue to, to repeat it, to say it over and over again. God is the glory of my strength. It's the embellishment of my strength. It's what makes my strength different. When the enemy tries to overcome you, when they try to attack you and they, th and they think, oh yeah, this is an opportunity for, 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 for her to be overcome. Just open your mouth and say, God is the glory of my strength. It's the embellishment of my strength. I mean, for ladies, we know what... Uh, uh, um, embellishment is you know like all those brooch what makes your bag different from ordinary bag you know those sequins and and stuff those toning <coughs> you know that's what makes it different that's the embellishment that's the glory so you know um uh, nowadays we have all this um is it gaily and uh, some other clothes that they they have to stone them before they have to put stoning on them before they before um i mean for a wedding or for any event that's an embellishment that's what makes that cloth different if you go to the market and see, see that cloth itself you'll see that that's exact that's not exactly what it's like that's exactly the same thing with, the, with with your strength what makes your strength different from others is the embellishment with the glory of god and as i've said to be able to get into that embellishment to, to be able to get your glory embellished by god you need to be in his presence you know you need to be in his presence everything that gives you strength or everything that that makes you weak so it's not, as i said before it's not only about muscle everything and when he also says glory glory in what sense i i, I just put some note down he says everything god is god as the healer is the embellishment yeah so the embellishment of your healing is god because god himself is the healer which means you need to get the the um you need to um, get the body of Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, that's what makes your healing different from others. Some people really rely on medication for the rest of their lives. Well, for me, it's not, it's not, um, it's not part of me, really. Yeah, it doesn't mean that if I want to use paracetamol, I can't use it. But not something that I just sit down and say, oh yeah, the doctor said I should, ha I have to use paracetamol, then I have to use it. You are, jo you are joking me because no, thank you. God is the embellishment of my strength. And this is what, what God is waiting for from us. That we, our, we should tell him that our strength, rely, we rely totally on him. He's the embellishment of our strength even when we are, when we are not feeling well. Anointing 
of the Holy Spirit is the embellishment of your strength. You know, the Holy Spirit teaches us a lot of things. He teaches us a lot. He's the embellishment of your strength. The seven spirits of God, that's part of the embellishment of your strength. Spirit of joy, spirit of liberty, spirit of peace, that is the embellishment of your strength anytime you're weak. So, is any in any way that you 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 have you think you have ordinary strength or physical strength i want you to look into the embellishment of your strength the glory of your strength what makes your strength different from others because something spectacular is about to happen to you in the name of jesus christ and i believe as you, as you listen to this the glory of your strength will come and arise will arise will fight for you in every situation that looks that looks really worrying to you in the name of Jesus Christ. He will make you to stand out with grace upon your life, with, with his glory upon your life as you wait on him, as you study his word, as you ask for his anointing, his presence, his glory in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's all we have um, this afternoon. Until next time, stay blessed in the presence of God, the embellishment of your strengths. Bye.